Hello YouTube, Nova Piper. Um, I think it's Tuesday. So I'm smoking a cob. And I'm smoking Amphora. Rich aroma in a green pouch, which is not available in North America, which was gifted to me by the ever so generous pipe and tobacco. Took a while. Took a while to find it. Took a while to get it here too. His package took forever. <laughs> I hope he gets my hope he gets my package soon. Hope it gets through okay. You don't have to smoke a cob only on a Tuesday, and just because it's Tuesday doesn't mean you have to smoke a cob. Anyway, today we're uh, today I'm going to do a, a very rare VR, um, rare for me because I don't do VRs. Um, this is for uh, David one two three four five in New Brunswick, my fellow Maritimer. We go back and forth and tease each other. He's earned he's earned my respect, so I allow him to uh, bust my balls, so to speak. Dave is a, Dave does a, he's a very handy guy, he does a, you know, he likes to do crafts and, and he has some, like, lots of additional hobbies. I know he makes a lot of, he makes some leather stuff, uh, he sent me one of his leather pipe trays, which I use every friggin' time now, which is much better than a paper plate, it's awesome. He sent me a, a killer cigar, and I can't wait to smoke. Um, he sent me some pipe stands that look really nice. Uh, I'm going to try to help him out with some of my education and see if we can get a little uh, method for him to sell his wares, so to speak. Anyway, in Dave's VR, well, let's see what the neighbors are going to yell about now. It's always entertaining. Dave wanted us to do a VR and talk about our hobbies besides pipes. And it's right up my alley because... I like to talk about my hobbies, which is cool. I got lots of hobbies. And I'm always finding new ones. I don't know if they're hobbies or obsessions, but something that's always been throughout my life is music. From a young kid and even to this day. And then I take hobbies and combine hobbies, you know, so. But I kind of like Dave. So Dave likes pipes. He likes smoking pipes and cigars. And he likes working with leather and wood. So he combines them and he makes, you know, he's tried, he's made some pipes, he's made some pipe accessories out of wooden leather, you know. I could see myself, I, I could really get into working with leather for sure. If I had the equipment, I'd love, I used to do it when I was in high school. Uh, me and a buddy, or it was a buddy bought a cowhide and I used to buy strips of leather and I'd make like studded belts and stuff like this and, you know. That was cool. I used to get off on that shit. I made all kinds of like leather wristbands and stuff when we were in school. I did leather uh, probably in the early 80s and you know, it's when like heavy metal was getting really big so man I was making all these wristbands and belts and shit like this, right? That was pretty fun. Well, you guys were listening to country. Sure. Country music. Can't stand country. Can't stand country fucking music. School bus. Anyway. I've been playing guitar for my whole life. I got a drum kit. Kind of play the drums a little bit. Also, I got, let's see what's in my, in my, in my pockets. The Bayrou Guru. Got me into the harmonica again. I always wanted to. I love blues harp. Can't find it. Let's see if I can do it. It's been a while. Uh, I can't. Do you put it down? Yep. Oh well. I haven't had it picked up in a couple of months. I've been so busy with school. He was asking me about it. 
Anyway, I always wanted to learn how to play it, so I bought a, he told me what to buy, you know, a Suzuki Manji M20, key C, key C, upside down, you know. So I bought that. And uh, he was showing me some stuff, turned me on to some wicked harp, you know, so I do that kind of thing. I, uh, I'm also into technology and I like to play around with my, I like to play around with my music gear. So I build, I think I did a video on this, I build guitar effects too. Um, source all the parts, put them all together. It's an overdrive pedal. For, um, it's based on the, on the clone Centaur, which was a killer overdrive. Got a little switch on it. Change the clipping between germanium and silicone diodes. Changes the flavor of the tone. This is meant for a tube amp, Meg. This is meant like you got a expensive tube amp. Buddy came over with a trainer, a 90 watt trainer combo, and I showed him how to dial it in. I hooked this up to it, and it sounded sweet. You know, like I love dabbling with gear. So, uh, so I like doing like electronics and I always used to build models when I was a kid so now I, I build electronic projects but I take the joy of electronic projects and combine it with music and make music effects so I'm combining hobbies so that's what I do Dave I think you kind of Dave would probably understand what I mean it's cool man I got a little I don't know if you can see the <laughs> the dremelin I did to it but you know I sold a few this is the first one of these I've made in this kind of case, so I want to make sure it works good and all that stuff. So one of my new, I don't know if it's a hobby or obsession, but getting in, I don't know if you can see that, pocket watches, getting into uh, railroad grade, American railroad grade antique pocket watches. In Illinois, uh, 1906 Illinois uh, A Lincoln is the model railroad grade. Keeps time. I don't have to set it. I just wind it. Tick tock. Go well, listen. <laughs> and of course silver. I'm in, you know collecting silver again. I just might have to stop that. It gets expensive. Yeah, you know, I like going on eBay. Looking at weird shit and finding deals, school bus, finding weird deals and you know that kind of stuff. I know what I know what I pay for silver, I know what I pay for these pocket watches, I and I learned about it, so I, I watch the auctions and I see what they go for and this kind of stuff. Let me check my timer here. The sun's right in my face. Okay. So I don't know if you call them hobbies or obsessions. Technology, I'm, all, I'm right into that. Built a tube amp about 10 years ago, man. It's killer, rock monster. JTM 45 from 1966. It's a Metro amp. Uh, George Metropolis had a company. He doesn't sell kits anymore. Found a local guy here. I got him on my Facebook, my personal Facebook. And, we talk back and forth a little bit. He makes, uh, he does the same thing. He grabs the parts online and makes tube amps, mods tube amps and stuff like that. I don't know enough about it. It's they're pretty basic circuits, but I don't know enough about that kind of technology. I'd love to. I want to learn French. A couple of the. Uh, Young, there's a young girl at school from Haiti, and there's another woman who sits across from me who's from uh, Nigeria. So the, the Haitian girl, she can speak French, and the Nigerian woman can speak a little bit of French. So I go on Google Translate and look up phrases and try to say it to them, and they laugh at me. It's funny. But I really want to learn, you know, I'd like to learn French. Hobby, as a hobby. I don't know. Thirst for knowledge is that a hobby? Anyway, I play video games. Again, combining my technology, I bought a little mini computer. 
Raspberry Pi it runs Linux. Linux is a hobby. I'm a Linux hobbyist. I love it. I bought a little mini computer running MAME on it. Bought an arcade cabinet. Bought a big arcade controller. Got all the parts. It works perfect. I just got to put it all together now and I got a, a fully functioning arcade cabinet. Coin operated door and everything. You know, there's that's kind of hot. That's the kind of stuff I'm into. If I had the money, if I had the money, I would build a full size 737 cockpit simulator in my basement or in a room. You know, I got the space, I just don't have the money. There's a niche market out there. There's a Canadian company called Flight Deck Solutions. They actually sell all the individual parts pre built. There's kits, you can build them yourself, but you know. And I mean fully, absolutely fully functioning 737 cockpit. I've done a lot of research on it and I, I think I could do it. Probably about between five to seven computers to run it. Software for it's kind of pricey. Of course the parts would be too, but I mean like real airplane seats, cockpit seats and everything, man. I'd go full out. Like the, the throttle quadrant, I mean I would you can get them almost friggin' realistic, dude. You know, it's, it's crazy. Expensive. Thousands of... Uh, it would probably cost me forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 Canadian. Curved screen, three, over, three overhead projector, short throw. Everything. That's the kind of stuff I'm into. Backyard astronomy. I love sitting out looking at the stars, you know, grabbing the maps, the red light, binoculars. Um, watching meteor showers, you know, checking out Jupiter, watching the moons of Jupiter move. Um, photography. I'm into amateur photography. I thought some great shots just in my backyard. That kind of stuff. Um, landscape photography. You know, I got all kinds of hobbies, man. So to mean I don't, I don't need to work. I don't, I don't, shouldn't say I don't need to. I don't want to work. People say. How could you not work? I'd go crazy. It's like, well, not when you've got as many hobbies as I do. You wouldn't go crazy at all. Well, I wasn't working last summer, man. I was, I went back to school, but I was 10 months off or something like that, almost a year off, and I wasn't bored at all, man. I had all kinds of stuff to do. So, yeah, you know, check the time. Anyway, I guess that's going long enough. All right, well, anyway, congrats, Dave. That's, uh, that's cool. You're over 100 subs now, and that's just some of my hobbies. I keep going, I'm sure, if I thought about it. But, yeah, congrats on the subs, and keep up the work with your with your leather shit and your woodwork and stuff. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it's probably third winter for you now. We only got a little bit of snow here. Maybe a centimeter or two fell the other day. I didn't even shovel, but... You know, you're probably, I don't know, three, four hundred centimeters for you now, probably. Comes after third winter. Is that the second muddy season? Or fake spring? Anyway, congrats, dude. Thanks for watching, and see y'all.